Good morning, one and all. I have something to share with you. I have a dream. An art project, if you will. And this dream slash art project involves all of the black and brown people leaving the United States of America to go to other countries and leave the white people to turn on themselves. It sounds complicated, but it's not. So let's say in this world where everything goes like it should, the UN tries the United States for crimes against humanity and finds the United States guilty as it has already done in the past. But this time they make consequences. This time, the UN has several countries within it that has new immigration policies set up for marginalized people to go over to their countries and start new lives. They provide us with jobs, homes, and whatever else we need, public assistance, whatever that country has, they're offering it. And countries outside of the UN can also offer this, but countries within the UN have a stricter accountability system to their programs. This means that countries within the UN offering the new immigration programs have to deliver on what they're offering, whereas countries outside the UN are allowed to participate in this on their own accord, but they don't necessarily have to give what they're offering. Felons and convicts are going to be up for review of the circumstances of their trials and their charges, so they'll also be allowed in most of these countries with the acknowledgement that black and brown people are disproportionately policed and sentenced. Black and brown people that have fled their countries due to destabilization will not have to return to their previous countries, but they also won't have access to the same programs, but they will have different programs. Asian Americans will not qualify because they don't have the same generational trauma as we do. But they will be expected to leave because they'll become the new bottom of the totem pole if they don't. I don't know what this would mean for Hawaii, Samoa, and Puerto Rico even though Hawaii is a state. Mexico will build a wall. It will be a well-guarded wall, and they will not let white people in, but it is questionable on if they'll let in black and brown people with no attachments to Mexico. Canada will be the only country taking in white refugees. Other countries will be thrown into some very interesting positions as well, and although I have a lot of uh, perspectives on how things have gone historically, of course I don't know how things would actually be executed. From my own tiny perspective of this world I've already created, I am on a beach and my lips aren't nearly as ashy. I'm eating breakfast. Um, and I'm drinking a fruity alcoholic and or CBD beverage on a beach or in a bar. And I'm watching white America rip itself apart on international news. And I'm happy. Full body relieved. They brought it on themselves.